Right, hello everyone. Video games, I think. I would rather think so too. I'm just going to jump right into it, and hopefully the game will actually appear in due course. There we go. I too shall drink some water. I'm back on my bullshit! Helix 2, the second stream! You can't just redeem a stay hydrated after I took a drink. That's, like, not fair. Last time on Helix, uh, Gibby was resurrected and then threw dynamite at us and we all died. It was very tragic. I have no meat to tender. What's the point of everything, then? Why live? I wish to teleport to Wayne's house. <laughs> when am I ever off my bullshit? I am never off my bullshit. You seal yet melt. Well, fuck him, frankly. My home is suddenly infested with jerks. I disagree. If you ever get off your bullshit, we will be worse for it. <laughs> Beanie, thanks for the 12 months. My bullshit is the most important shit that has ever bullshitted. I fell in the ocean. I need to find the airship. Where did I leave that thing? If I'm not mistaken, there is a place where I'm pretty sure you can summon it. Maybe I am mistaken, I'm not sure. might be a bit loud on my end. Yeah, it would be. I have the sound crank. Not for you guys, but I have the sound like cranked way too high on my end. <sighs> I keep falling off shit. So this game also got patched overnight because I bought it literally day one and every game gets a day one patch nowadays. Something about the friction. I don't know what the problem was. I going? I'm not entirely sure where I think I'm going. Crisper the Silumvog. Thinks he's clean, does he? I'll show you clean. I could quite reasonably just snap at all these things and eventually they would die. I don't think I have to think about it too hard. Ah, gizzard spume. Ah, but he's clean. He can't be made dissolute. It is well known that you cannot be dissolute when you're clean.
Hey, Cygnus. Nightmare fuel? It's... It's dreamy, man. Oh, it's accelerating. Uh, it's always the problem when it gets all accelerated on you. Quick, snap it away. Problem dealt with. Six meat for my troubles. I think it is the intention in this game that combat is portended with much more frequently than it is in the first one. How do you think you're going to have? Go fucking hell. I don't even know where I am at the moment, actually. I'm just sort of going places and doing things. What's this hole? An underground edifice. Skull bomb, huh? These guys are not enemies. They look like enemies, but they are not enemies. Okay, so this cannot be interacted with until I can acquire the skull bomb. Ah, there's a big guy. He's protecting a banana. Here's the thing, though. I would like that banana. Oh, okay. Well. Sometimes you fall off a cliff instead of getting the banana like you wanted. Okay, I got the banana. I guess this area isn't really of any use to me. I can't, it doesn't even seem like there's a teleport point here. This place is full of galliforms, though. That's like the last thing you want. I disagree. Summoner, thank you for the nine months. Your continued support allows me to do stupid shit, like buy this game and play it on stream. Still our friend, though. <laughs> Continually buy more copies of Ape Escape. I swear to God, dude. They're still trying to fucking argue with me. They they even they sent me an email today with the very audacious suggestion that I should uh, go into their store because it's in the same county as where I live. Uh, which one? No, it isn't. Uh, two. Even if it was, the county is quite big. <laughs> Thirdly, plague. Aha, see? He has transformed, which means I can go into the treasure room now. Oh, oh my. There is a non-significant amount of treasure in the treasure room. That looks like a skull bomb. Well, isn't that just darling? This is so much money. What the fuck am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> Buy more tendril hands, I guess? Seems like a plan. Oh, another organ fort. Smashing! Desmond's still wearing his boots. Mm. 
Burritos are an incredibly useful comestible, so you know what? More burritos could also be the thing. There's the skull bomb. It is like when the first game gives you a million money. Telescopic sleeve. Now that, I don't know what that is. It is an attacking... Oh, wow. 17 power. Alright, Wayne can have it. Wayne is, after all, the damage dealer of the group. You already have a tendril hand. Who doesn't have a tendril hand? Is it Dedozman? Dedozman doesn't have a tendril hand. What does Pongorma? Yeah, it's the pair of you who don't have it. I mean, I can buy another one for Dedozman. That's no problem. Maybe I'll even have enough left over for power of pleaks. These guys have classes. It's less that they have classes and more that every character has at least one ability that only they can use. And that sort of defines their role in combat because abilities are super, like, the thing. They're powerful. Like, the Duelsman has, uh, has foam armor, which is the best defensive stroke healing thing in the game that I've found so far. So he kind of spends most of his turn doing, like, de facto support stuff rather than hitting things. Still, if he's ever actually going to hit stuff, it wouldn't hurt to have a tendril hand, you know? So a tendril hand he can have. I don't see why not. He has no speed, but that is no obstacle to me. Now I'm going to go hit up the cafe and purchase some power applique, because why not? Friend, you're in the wall. Hmm. Multi-coffee restores 50% of total will targets entire crew. I'll buy some of those. Three coffees. Yes, this is Hillix 2, a new one. They made a second one. It came out yesterday. I'm about four hours in. It's really long. Well, I say really long, but it's longer than the first one, which was like two hours. You got any of those power appliques for sale, mate? No? Oh, there we go. Oh, muscle applique. Wow, he's only got the one. What a bastard. I bought a burrito with my last amount of money. I spent a perfect amount of money. You couldn't have possibly have spent a more perfect amount of money if you tried. I thought that he, had a, he had a limitless supply of muscle applique, but apparently not. Oh, well. Did I play Helix on stream? No, I played it years ago. Remember that Helix 1 is like five years old. Time is linear, you see. Now my party is very well equipped for the dangers ahead. Two people with organ forts. Everyone has a tendril hand or something better. Right, the airship still isn't here. How do I do this? I remember something in the, uh, the... Not exactly the manual, but more so the FAQ. Games don't come with manuals anymore. That, uh, there's something that you can do at Wayne's house? Not to take, huh? Now, where can I summon the airship from? Bear with me a moment. I'm trying to think of not takes, but all I have are hot takes lately. Seems to be all I'm good for. Hmm. 
Do I have to look this up in the F Hang on a moment. I'm going to have to consult the FAQ real fast. The developer written FAQ for things. Oh, this, I forgot about this. There we go, we've called the airship. Right, let me think of a not take while I look at, like, is, is, is it a not take to say that this fucking airship looks spectacular? Like, look, look at this segment, this is stupid, I love this. This is amazing. What's with the tendrils sticking out? Can I fly up there? Oh wow, I actually can. Oh, that'll be the final area. That'll be the Hylum Xylum. Not quite there yet. Check out some stuff I missed earlier, though. Wavy. You know, I'm slightly, I'm having difficulty thinking of a not take because I am like slightly half asleep, as per is my, as as per my usual. So you know, what, my not take shall be uh, sleep related, and I'll say that sleep is very good. You should get eight hours of it a day if you can, which is more than I do most days. Do as I say, not as I do, kids. It is amazing how much even, like, missing a little sleep completely torpedoes your ability to function. Don't, don't be the, the smart guy who thinks, oh, you know, I can sleep less. Don't, don't do that. It's bad for you. The monitor. That's my not take. My not take is never underestimate the power of sleep. How many antennas do I have at this point? I haven't used a single one of them. I have 57. That is, uh, interesting. I should have come here earlier. Because this is the monitor, isn't it? Yeah, that's the charge up ability. How long have I- I don't know, I, <laughs> I could have come here and learned charge up at any time. Well, we learned a gesture. Charge up, 10, grants charge status, integral abilities, dissolution, foam armor, et al. Integral abilities. Like, I presume that means unique abilities. Gain in heart. Yes. Okay. Oh, uh, yes, 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 it does. So when you charge up, your si your signature move that every character has, like Pongorma has, um, lightning. That gains an enhancement when charged up instead. Uh, Soms Nosa, I believe, is a wave artifice user. Hits. If charged, two additional attacks are made against random enemies. It's spicy. Uh, the Duels this Duelsman does foam armor, which I'm not really sure what that does when powered up. Wayne's is dissolute, which just hits really fucking hard. Okay, but what am I supposed to do with all these antennas? Does just having them grant me power, or do I have to use them? At the top of a massive monitor, give antennas to increase charges potency. At the top of. Like up here, perhaps? Oh. Oh, 57 antennas given. Current charge up power, 44. Oh. I feel like we've unlocked potential here. Uh, will is MP. Will is how you cast your spells.
Right, there are a couple things we could be doing right now. I could go challenge the Hylum's Island, but I got a skull bomb earlier, didn't I? The Hylum's Island is like my main objective, I think, right now. I didn't mean to do that. That was what my menu should say, like, confront Gibby in the Hylum's Island, but, uh... I have the ability to do a couple of other dumb things at the moment. There's nowhere to park my airship. I hate that. Really, this is the only place on the island I can park my airship? Ugh. Can't find good help these days. Whatever, I'll park it here. Come on, give it, give it, give it. There we go. Oh, I fell in the fucking ocean, but that's okay. I landed right near where I needed to be. Alright, I feel like it behooves me to try a couple of fights to test out Charge Up's potential and also what it even does. Are there even any fights here for me to take? I'm still gonna save before them because I save before every fight in this video game. Eh. I definitely hit something. I have initiative. That I fucking do, lad. I wish to charge up. You gotta sacrifice a turn to do it, though. I really want to see what foam armor does when charged up. Because it doesn't really have a description, so like, fuck if I know what that means. I'm keen to find out. Dissolution! Oh, it got very strong. That did 40 damage. It's like inflicted advanced dissolution on them, what the fuck? Oh, I see. They did a move and they took like a million damage. That d Whoa. <laughs> Wayne hit that guy like once and it did a hundred damage. That was, that was a little difficult to notice, but uh, that just... Kill that guy. All right, what does what does powered up foam armor do? <gasps> Puck. Whole body. That's Pog. All right, what does being charged up and full of lightning do? Uh, Eighty-one damage. Apparently, that's a lot. Full whole party, whole party foam armor. That's fucking nuts. That's super good. Oh, and it burned him. It did. Oh, extremely. Charge up, charge up foam armor is like now probably one of the best moves they have in the game. <laughs> Holy moly. That's kind of remarkable. Unfortunately, this guy counters with sleep spores, which puts the whole party to sleep. Whole party for a mama, though. That's bananas. Wayne, it just, like, did a shit ton of damage. Uh, lightning did a shit ton of damage and set everyone on fire. What is foam to do? Uh, it makes you more resistant to damage. It gives you about, like, 50% extra HP. Uh, and it also prevents you from being afflicted with certain status ailments. Ooh. 
Like, you cannot be set on fire while foamed. You also cannot leak while foamy. I brought Skull Bomb. Th well, I guess it's okay. Oh, oh boy. So yeah, so whole party foam armor is like a fucking game changer. Should I have done that? There's a monitor up there, I can't help but notice. That's that I could leap in there if I wanted to do whatever it is that I just opened, but I can't help but notice that like up here there's some kind of table fucking Christ, okay, hang on. I don't think I can get up there though. Oh my god, fuck my life. Let's just jump in, fuck it. Where am I going? I'm going somewhere. Oh. Okay then. What if? One supposes that this is a... Uh... See, as I recall, I think this is optional content because uh... It's, oh, hello. It's mentioned in, like, the marketing blurb that, like, oh, it contains an entire optional first-person dungeon crawler thing. Also, it's the same with the platformer. I'm pretty sure there was more to the platformer bit, but, you know, what happens if I bump into something? It starts a fight. I'm not sure what I was expecting, really. Oh, everyone's dissolute now, are they? Snap this bitch. Powered up wave artifice. Ah, wavelet. Isn't that charming? That just hits the whole party. Faded poncho and an antenna. Oh, I get my health back after every fight. Actually, I should enter the pool just to register my the uh, the save point. Right, as I understand it, that part of the game isn't strictly necessary, although I kind of wonder how long it is. Maybe I'll come back to that if I feel like I need to power up or something. Hope your foreskin is doing okay in this stressful climate. Question mark. 
question. My four? What the fuck? Fruit. Okay, thank you for the bits, fruit machine, but what the fuck? Question mark. I'll give you a question mark. One, one, one bits at that. What a specific number. Okay, we've unlocked the fast travel to the, the, the dungeon crawler bit of the game, which given to understand isn't required. Because like my, my current in, uh, my current active quest is just to confront Gibby in the Hylum Xylum, but uh, well, Gibby was the final boss of the first game, so like for all I know, that ends the game. I've already been playing for like four hours before I started the stream, and I'd be surprised if it was like super long. The first game was only like two hours, and this, this... Well, okay, since chat is demanding an answer, yes, my foreskin is fine. see over here then the Hylum Xylum. Well this looks very Hylum-y, don't you think? I should rather think. Oh look a pool. It doesn't look like I can jump into it though. I gotta land on top. Trying to initiate combat. What game is this? This is Hylix 2. Charge up. Go straight for the wave artifice. I want to get rid of the Tyro. That one's looking powerful. Stay hydrated? Probably a good idea. There you go. Four slices. Whoa. Gross. So much damage being labelled on there. Graft, what a fucker. Quit punking my party members. There we go. Pongorma has the floor. No way, Pongorma isn't the character I would like to have the floor at the moment. I wish there was a way to see the turn order. I'm kind of gambling with this one. Yeah, I wanted the Desmond to have, because now he can do charged foam armor. Which will foam everyone! Now everyone is foamed! Absolutely ridiculous. the non-conformist is accelerating. Mm. 
That is highly inconvenient. Become crispy. Honestly, set this guy on fire as well. Fuck it. Everyone deserves to be set on fire here. Your fingers may be sharp, but I'm foamy. Dissolute this bitch. Nah, see, look who's dissolute now. Couldn't be me. Photon Grape Shot. He charged up and just did it immediately. He had no wait time. What a fucker. You get snapped for that. You too. <sighs> Deploying cookies is such a weak-minded thing. Nine meat, one burrito, three antenna, two pool wine, two juice, one faded punch. Oh, a cloud germ and a muscle applique. How exciting. Muscle applique. I'll use my muscle appliques on Wade and no one can stop me. Maybe the pool is lower down or something. And yeah, now everyone is full health again. It's like nothing ever happened. Oh, I see. I'm sinking into it. Need to collect the bones, though. I think this area actually has walls. How weird is that? This is the only place it doesn't let me jump off of and die. Get this. Get this pile of bones over here. How much money was that worth? 433. So many burritos I can get with that kind of money. Oh, or multi-coffees. Multi-coffee. That's the real technique. If only there was a multi-burrito, that would be the strongest move. Is there a multi-burrito? Oh, a key. Upper chamber key. Uh, hell if I know what that's for. What is the upper chamber, huh? Hey, a soul sponge. An enemy. Fight me. That's just a fish. Tell you what, I know where to start with these. Target the Electrolan. Sets everyone to sleep, including me, but it also includes the enemies in that, which is helpful for my purposes. Now charge! a certain power. Then you can lightning this bitch with a strong power. 81 damage and set it on fire. Oh, and it just grafted. Well, fuck that then, I guess. Valiant attempt. I hit the wrong target. God damn it. like to kill this guy as soon as possible. Thanks. Oh, well, at least he's waking up my party members. Arcane indisposal. Fuck, I've become indisposed. 
I don't know what that means. Okay, well, you're burning. That's lovely. And now you're dead. Oh, the nonconformist is charging up. That's okay. Now that I've discovered full team foam, I cannot lose. I mean, I might lose, but you know, probably not this fight. Looking good so far. Maybe I'll try and kill the nonconformist before it kills me. How much health has it got? More than I'd like it to. Click. Solvent Vortex! Ah! Photon Grape Shot! Hmm, I don't think we're foamy anymore. Seem distinctly unfoamy. I dealt with it. I would like to kill this fish. When the Voltex is solvent? No. I see it just hits everyone, does it? This is inconvenient. I guess when you're indisposed, you can't act. I'm not sure. Oh dear. Nah, I can't do Link Mollusk. That's unfortunate. Extremely like this guy to fuck off, though. Charge yourself. The solvent vortex is annoying. It makes all of us dissolute, as arcane and disposal is also quite annoying. Full party foam armor. It applies over indisposed. Everyone is now foamy. I'm getting real sick of this guy. Hit him with a charged up dissolution. Oof. He took like 100 damage from that and then he died because I did 34 residual damage. That did a lot of damage. A multi-stem cell one from that one. I'm getting all the good items. Squats but no oats. Now, playing Hillix. Surely now is not the time for this. I got all my health back from that, I did. I can do, I can do squats.
It's fine. Behold. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Yes. Man who squats on his heels. Proceed with the video game. Oh, that was a higher floor. Can I jump in this pool? Apparently, yes. You can, in fact, make me exercise. There is a limit to its usage, however. Island's Island. Ten squats are starting to look at me. Well, excuse me for being too good. Oh, look, a banana. I, what the fuck? I hit it. Oh, everyone's charging up. Uh, solid vortex. It's really annoying. not going to up it to 15. Oh, I finally get to use Link Mollusk for once. You are now squeezed and dissolute, idiot. Oh, it applies to all of the party? Oh, it just, it just made everyone dissolute. It didn't actually apply squeeze. I guess that doesn't count for some reason. Okay, whatever. Can I please get rid of this idiot, like, quickly? I didn't do anywhere near as much damage as I was hoping. Rude. Ugh, solvent vortex. What an annoying move. Party before me. What did you need to deploy a cookie for? No one ever hit you. You do like no damage when you're squeezed. Maybe the best thing you can do is just guard. Experience isn't a thing in either of these games, no. You can collect meat, which gives you more HP, and that's as much of a leveling system as you're getting. Kill. Just get rid of him. 
I guess maybe I should stick to doing heal stuff. When you're squeezed, because you can't really actuate any real damage. Seems like foamy still works fine. Whose turn is it? Oh, Wayne's. Uh, will can be upgraded if you find paper cups around the environment. Although I haven't found any more than one so far. Oh, that might kill a couple of party members. Yes, yes it did. Well, that's annoying. They're dead! It's okay, I'll still probably win. In fact, it might burn to death on this turn. Yes, yes it did. Smacking a big one just gives you all your health back. Oh, what's, what's with this tower? Is there nothing up here? Might not be. This might just be like the place where you teleport. This game is cool. It is cool. I'm enjoying it so far. It's brand new. It came out like yesterday. This looks rotoscope. That's because it is, I think. It's mostly a claymation thing. Oh. It's for the upper chamber, they said. What system is it on? Personal computer, and I think nothing else. I think it is literally just a PC game. A force field blocks the way. This is horribly inconvenient. I have initiative. Not that I'm really clear on what initiative means, since I still get my shit slapped. No, no family computers here. Does this look like a family game to you? Honestly. The foolishness present. I will not tolerate this. It keeps countering. Counter with a charge of my own. That's one enemy out of the picture. Oh, fuck, it keeps hitting Wayne. Oh, Wayne's dead. Holy shit. That was fast. Well, that's horrifically unfortunate. And that really is mostly just unfortunate. Like everything wanted Wayne dead. Maybe I can still win. You'll also be 24 tomorrow. You're younger than me? What the fuck? Oh, he 
he's charging up again. <gasps> That's bullshit. Why do you get two moves? I can't kill him if he's going to do that. That's virtually indistinguishable from cheating. I really hope lightning will kill this guy. It probably won't. No, okay, I got it. That just about made it. Didn't want another photon grape shoot. Does doing foam on someone who's already foamed heal them again? Nope, does literally nothing. Okay. Why do the f what the fuck is this shit? Oh, I see. No, it's the courtier doing it. I thought they were doing two moves, but no, this guy is the one doing all the grafting. I would like to get his ass. I got his ass. The doorsman might be dead. The doorsman is dead. This is horrifically unfortunate yet again. Nevertheless, I survived to gain six meat. Every fight I win, I become stronger to win more fights. For this is how RPG games work. There was a guy here who I could slap and now I can't find him. There you are. Can't possibly be how they intended. Oh no, you're supposed to walk back up here. Wait, so then where am I coming out of? Oh, I see, I see. It's a little like okay, right. <laughs> the visual language of that was slightly confusing, but that's okay. Get out of my way. I tried to hit him, but for some reason it didn't respond. What am I supposed to hit first here? Oh, everyone's charging up. Oh, good lord. Ugh, arcane disposal is super fucking annoying. No, stop that. gonna get rid of this guy first. Or at least try to. Just on the general basis that indispose is a really annoying status effect. I think it just prevents you from having a turn. Discorporating. 40 damage. That's gonna do a bunch of damage to everyone and that sucks ass. Mandible, that'll do a bunch of damage to whoever it hits, which of course is Wayne, which nearly fucking kills him immediately. Another arcane in No, and it indisposes the Dorseman, the last guy I wanted to get hit by that. Fucking hell.
Get gone. Your indisposal shit can fuck off. The squids are charging. Either squid will do. Thirty nine damage. Such a gross move. I would like to spend more time attacking. time failing attack. White Waffle, thanks for converting from a Twitch Prime sub to a tier 1 subscription. You are now a whole complete person. The squids are charging again. Not one of them's dead at least. I thought that was going to kill him. I'm upset. Well, it, it, it died on its final turn, I guess. No one has any will. Just snap it. Nothing but snaps. Spiky raid. Oh yeah, it has that move, huh? Bufax was a boss earlier in the game. Now it's just a standard enemy. Although I think it's like a mini version of it. Another muscle applique. Random encounters just... Well, they're not random encounters, but still. Enemies just drop muscle applique in this part of the game. It makes you more powerful. I'm gonna go for it. Like, whoa, dude. Okay, I tried to hit him, but it didn't register, as it tends not to. Ugh, foliated, what a pain. But you gotta burn the pool mag first, because otherwise it multiplies and it makes the fight impossible. Enemies really love to attack you in groups in this game. Arcane Indisposer is so annoying. Mm 
This should kill. It does about, I do about like 50 damage, right? 47. Doing approaching endgame? I should hope so, yes. The fights are getting fucking hard enough for it to feel like that. Oh, I wanted Soul Crisp, but whatever. This works too. You can't just charge up and do a move immediately. That's an illegal play. anything I can do to get rid of a... Uh, to get rid of the indisposed status. I think you're just fucked. I mean, you can you can cast Fate Sandbox, but the people with the only ability to do that aren't allowed to take it. I might, I might just lose this fight and have to load my save. Yeah, I'm calling this one Garbo. Legit faster to just close the fucking game and restart than playing it out. That got off to an, like, an immediately shit start and didn't get any better. I think it's gonna be the s oh wait, it didn't even spawn the enemy in this time. Oh yes it did. I need- I don't know how to deal with- with, indis with being indisposed. It's a really annoying status ailment. Yeah, it's the same group of enemies. I really think I might well just burn this fucking guy to death, like, as soon as possible. He has so much health, though. Having initiative seems completely meaningless, and I don't know what it- I don't know what it means. What are my thoughts on baked goods? Baked goods, like their name, are good. Yeah, it doesn't matter. They all get a move before I do. What the fuck is the point of having initiative, then, if they all get to play before I do? I got one move, and then that was it, but I always get the first move, so it doesn't matter. What was the purpose of any of that, then? This guy on fire as well, so he can't split. Oh. Need the full party foam. I need it. Badly. That's what I'm thinking. Who's that gonna hit? Hongorma, good. It's about the most useless target. Although it's still not preferable by any means. I'm gonna aim towards setting this guy on fire first. Whole party foam armor. Get everyone the health they need. Charge dissolution will be the solution. Except that didn't kill. I really thought that was going to. But it will kill the next time it doesn't move. Which will probably be now. Oh, did Osman's going to die? I didn't notice they had such low health. It ate a cupcake. Motherfucker. 
Um, no, it died anyway. That was the most useless move it could have done, I think, actually. This is insanity, how much I'm getting my ass beat by the encounters in this area. Set this bitch on fire, lest you learn to regret it. Snap him out of existence. looking kind of beat here. Deploy burrito! I should buy more of these. I can afford to buy lots of them at this point. God knows I don't really have anything else to spend my money on. I might just lose this fight. This fight just me might just be one to skip. This, this seems like garbage to me. Yeah, no, that's also out. I'm just gonna skip that fight. That doesn't seem reasonable. Fucked up encounter that is. Ductile habit. What is that? Reduces damage to wearer by 25%. Boy, that sounds good. Pongorma. Oh, here comes that enemy. Maybe that's why it was such a tough encounter, considering that equipment seems super worth it. Oh, a button. Reservoir is now drained. What the fuck does that mean? Oh, there's a tube now. Psychic Knuckle. Adds additional power equal to one-third of current will. Huh. That is abjectly the most useful on Somsnosa, who has the highest will stat of anyone in the party right now. Now he has 42 power. Oh, burrito. Another burrito. Just what I needed. 
Oh yeah, I drained the lower reservoir, so all of this is now available to me. Oh, there are walls here, I see. There were burritos in the water the whole time, and a tarp. I'm finding lots of equipment now. What is this? Removes, prevents negative statuses. Ineffective against statuses from equipment, minus speed, minus 50. Prevents negative status, though, is a pretty big fucking deal. Minus 50, though, sucks. But, like, being immune to statuses, man. It might be best on... It might be best on Wayne, because we're like, Wayne actually has a base speed stat of higher than zero. Why did that increase my power? Oh, I said, well, because that was power plus three. I thought the, the will mattered, but apparently not. trying to figure out the Hylum Xylum right now, which uh, is a whole task unto itself at the moment. The upper reservoir is now drained. Where was that? I found empty. Empty! Cloud gem. Okay, I haven't used one of those so far. Wait, how did I fall from below the, uh, up to here? Guys, I don't remember where the upper reservoir is. I mean, upper, presumably, but there was an upper reservoir. Hi, PC. At least none of these seem to be... St oh, was it around... This was the, the upper reservoir. Or was it? Well, whatever it is, I haven't been here before, so... See? Burrito's a king! That's why I'm getting so many of them now. Well, I guess I'm not getting these bones. I mean, I'm gonna jump in anyway, see what happens, but... Vessel room key. What's that for? Oh, it's the, for the fucking vessel room. <laughs> I've not seen the vessel room to know what the vessel room is. Okay. Ah, the slapping. Oh, good. There's two of them in this fight. Great. Arcane in disposal straight away. Uh, see, uh, see, Wayne can no longer be indisposed because he has the tarp on. And, like, no way that's not incredibly useful. The fact that still the rest of the party can is super fucking annoying.
I extremely want to be rid of these shitters immediately. I don't care if I have to sack the turn to do it, just get rid of them. Actually, it'll probably burn to death next. No, it'll get one off though. I don't want that. Temporal wasting. He's lagging. He's lagging and indisposed. Right, so he's completely oh, useless for the time being. Aggie, thank you for the Twitch Prime. This is completely useless. What if I gave him a fate sandbox to work with? Then he's not so useless now, is he? Set this bitch on fire. I hope there's more tarps in the game, because honestly, if I can equip my whole party with stuff, that just means they they don't have to worry about status effects. That would be super useful, but that's probably why there isn't. Of course Wayne dies. Of course, of course every fucking party member targets the one person who's doing any damage. That's just... That's just spectacular. I feel like the Dolzman had a charge status that didn't do anything. What happened to that? Well, you're dead. what lagging means. I just get the feeling it doesn't really matter when there's only four people in the turn order. I win. Multi-soul sponge. There's the vessel room. That doesn't look drained at all. Emerge from that vessel. The Highlands Island was a failure. Only now does the accretion's long dark age begin to subside. Had you witnessed it, you would not malign it so. I forgive you for destroying my satellite. From this world's matter, I'll produce a better one. Ooh, matter. The title is meaningful. And perhaps even allow you a space there. You'd mulch this entire zone? Yeah, but I do do. I just got the new ranch set up. So many artifacts remain hidden from us. You'd rob us the joy of uncovering them? Spare me your tributaries, Pongorma. You witnessed the Empire of the Sages. Only through my work here can such grandeur again be realized. Alas, I've become habituated to this shabby planet. He's bathed in the terrestrial juice. Witness my omnipotence. Gibby! Is this the final boss? Is this what I'm dealing with here? Summon minion. Oh, he summoned minions. That's tremendously inconvenient. Just for the hell of it, though, let's set this bitch on fire and see what happens. He has 999 health. Okay, good, good. 
He reflexively summons minions. Oh good, now there's lots of them. Everyone's getting charged up. Discorporating! Every time I hit him, he summons more minions. Killer trees! I wonder if I'm really up to the task of fighting this guy at the moment. Wave Artifice. That did a lot of damage to a single target. This fucking fight theme is rocking. Yes, he, he summoned enough of them that he he then kicked my ass. Uh, I was I it, it was it was definitely a thing. Much health the uh, the progenies have. Like, let's try some stuff. Like Seventy. That's not a huge amount. We did volatile product. What is? Oh wait, that sets me on fire. But I'm foamy. I can't be set on fire. Do you really think it would be so trivial as to set me on fire? Spare me your trivialities. Yeah, so you should you should you should try and do like single So wave artifice on a single target when charged deals extra damage to a random target. The thing is that the random target, there's only one target. So it ends up doing like 80 damage to a single person in the fight, which is very useful to all of us. If there was ever a time for multi-juice, it would surely be now. Or multi-stem cell, actually. Yeah, really feeling that. you flamed. Wayne should charge up. Oh, oh he did kill trees. Maybe it scales off the number of minions he has in play, or maybe he just can do it sometimes, I'm not sure. Okay, that just did a shit ton of damage to everyone. Uh, well, fuck that. Quick, a cloud gem. I've not used these the whole time, but if there's any time to use them now, it would be now, extremely. Charge up! Charge up! The charge power! Powerful dissolution!
hit him with a powerful lightning move. 81 damage, and set him on fire. You also need to charge up. Dillsman, you have, ch you, have, you have charge. Time to hit... Hit us with the full team foam. This will give us the health to work with. Oh, he did kill a tree as well. Good thing we all had a bunch of foam armor ready to soak the damage for us. Might want to use another cloud gem regardless, though. I'm gonna be a bit brave here. I may live to regret this. Because that'll do, like, 100 damage. I am nevertheless going to play it cool, and also Dedesma can't do any damage anyway. These drop from enemy encounters, so if I ever need more of them, I guess I can just kill enemies for it. I don't think I need- I'm gonna go for the lightning kill anyway. <laughs> Lord Gibby perishes. It's gonna make me kill the progeny. Why have you gotta be like that? Look at you, a whole 30 damage. You think you're big, do you? Piss off. 999 bones and 999 meat. I rather think that's the end of the game, isn't it? was easier than that one encounter in that one room that kept hitting me with dissolution. Oh, I have control still. No, the game's not over. Pardon? Sounds awful because I. How do buttons work? Like, combine. An incredible jam session. In my skeleton, the strongly screeching crowds drill our roads. Debase the hum, don't know a silk. How greatly our fate dances a heart, okay? 
I decline to prepare dog. Feeling doom, the furnitureless fat. They decline to cold wind. Does this end? Or am I just doing this like forever? You understand the mutal weapon is never the glum face. No more jams, people. The jams are over. tabbing in and out repeatedly. I think the game is done. Oh, I can press Q to get out of it. I perceive now that I was irresistibly compelled by Lord Gibby's terrible power. Impossible. Hylum Xylum, annihilated. Believe it, bitch. Freed from the Hylum Xylum's influence, the people will surely be restored to their natural forms. You did as well as any of us could have hoped. Maybe someday you'll be old, Wayne. Really, that's all I get. Ah. Would we go? The music being completely stopped is sort of eerie. Toothpaste! The whole game! Golf! <laughs> Little Wayne is a caddy. A Wayne plane? Somehow golf is the most normal thing I've seen this whole game. <laughs> An air Wayne.
the end. We did it. We played the whole of Hillux 2 and I managed to mostly avoid making an ass of myself while doing so. Developed by Mason Linroth with music by Chuck Salamone. I had a lot of fun with this, actually. I quite like this. So, you think I was done? You fucking stupid? It's like other stuff to do. For like a short RPG thing that's like kind of a fever dream, it's uh, it's quite a lot of fun. I like the, the, the combat style uh, of the game. Some of the later encounters being full of enemies who can just steal your turns is slightly obnoxious, but it really only lasts for the last few dungeons, and you don't... You don't really have to fight anything, actually. <laughs> it's kind of an ancillary concern, all things told. Yeah, I never really explored the first-person dungeon segment. The airship looks super good. This looks super good. Hi, Miki. I'm going to assume that's how I pronounce your name. I'm going with Miki. There's the island to the far... I think that's where I started the game. It's a shame I can't keep the 999 meat I got from beating the final boss. I want my... I want my... My, my 999. Like, come on. Right, so there was this. There was like a whole thing I could have done and then didn't. I disagree. This is a thing, huh? Weird game. Very weird. I fell down a hole. Thank you, Cursed One, for the 11 months. Oh, Gibby was the final boss in the first game, too. I don't know what I'm actually trying to accomplish down here. <laughs> Maybe this is where you find lots of powerful equipment? I'm, I don't know. I didn't really need powerful equipment, I just needed charge up and lightning. I knew what I was trying to accomplish for most of the game. You have an objective marker in the corner. It just says what you're trying to do. Whereas I don't know what this is all about. It's just some stuff. I mean, it's neat, the sudden turn of gameplay style, but... What am I doing in here? Like, here's a pool. Oh, I made a wall collapse. am I doing in here? What is the purpose of this area? This is this is somewhat inexplicable even by Hillock standards. Like what is all what is all this? What is this?
I've yet to divine what I'm even attempting to accomplish here. I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing in here. Something about this being the Sage's Labyrinth, I guess? But other than that, I've got very little to go on. Some of the statues don't have eyes, that's true. None of the buttons really do anything, though. An enemy! Yeah, like, who knows what I didn't find, by the way, when I was playing this game. I'm just looking around, bumping in a wall, seeing what I can see. And that just takes me back up to here again. It's kind of weird how this also doesn't have any sound effects. Not totally sure what's going on here, not gonna lie. Even, even by Hillock standards, I don't really understand what the point of this is. Like, that's where I came in from. No, none of the buttons seem to do anything in the labyrinth. Next order of the day is speedrun routing. Clearly. I ran the first Hilux. Now it is time to run more Hilux. Dissolute all of us like that. Why not? It's just an RPG. Hi, Sid. You forgot about Helix 2, the first of some years. Well, this game is like quite ambitious for a sequel to a game that is a relatively humble RPG maker thing, honestly. I'm honestly quite surprised by how, how, like, fucking hard this game is trying. Seems like it would take a lifetime to figure out how to speedrun this? Not really, it's just an RPG. It's a relatively short one, even. Yeah. 
I mean, I'm not much of an RPG router myself. Oh, boo, stop hitting him. Yeah, there is the distinct possibility as well that you can sequence break stuff. Ah, chomp. As a soundtrack for this so far, appropriate. Right, back to trying to figure out what the fuck is happening with this. Am I liking Helix 2 so far? I've finished it. I think it's quite good. Although, I'm not gonna lie, this this whole section right here, this first person dungeon crawl a bit, this is optional. Uh, and I have no idea what's going on with it. I don't even understand what my objective is here. I'm not entirely sure if there's anything I can even do right now. Oh, there's a switch. There's a switch over there. But I don't think I can access the switch. There's a switch on the other side. But I don't know how to get there. We are playing Windows 98 screensaver. Because I wanted to. I need to go up and around from here, I think. Is there a way that that can be done? I guess everyone gets to move before I do. Great, thanks. Super annoying. Granted, it did stem so on itself. Cheating. Stop that. You're supposed to burn to death. Get out of here. No 
no, no, no. Dissolution, soul crisper. Important difference. One crisps, the other dissolutes. Be gone, fish idiot. You can burn with the rest of them. Photon grape shot. That's okay. I can handle it. Set him on fire. Which will make him angry, but that's okay because we can kick his ass. Get his ass! He jumped! Get ye ass! He is dead. He has perished. Ooh, a multi stem cell. And an antenna. Oh, a chest. That's all I got? Multi soul sponge, I guess. I was hoping that would lead me somewhere slightly more edifying, I guess. Well, there's a ladder. That could be useful. Is this what I was looking for? Poke some walls while I'm up here, just to make sure I don't miss anything. Well, that just takes me to another side, though. didn't really take me anywhere super interesting. Oh, you can press Z to run. And strafe. I'm not sure I'm really getting anything done in here. What did that accomplish? I truly couldn't say. Honestly, a fat load of nothing, really. I guess I think I think I'm actually in a different location now, so maybe it did accomplish something. Another switch. Well, that seems to have accomplished something. I think I opened up the first area. See, like, that's the entrance, and now I, I can access this side of things instead. I've made progress of a sort, question mark? To what end, I don't know.
Still, the ultimate question remains. What the fuck are you progressing towards, fam? And that was just the way I came in. What, you want me to go back in? Did I move stuff around by doing that? Oh, I guess I did, because I can't go that way anymore. I guess maybe now that stuff has shifted around, I should go back up on the other side? I never did actually hunt around the pool room. This is fucking odd. What a what a weird post game this is. Oh, a switch. Does that just move everything back where it was? No, that sucks. That undid progress. Oh wait, no, 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 no. It opened this. Oh, a wall? Didn't do that on purpose. Sorry about the wall, man. Something approacheth! That's a car. Yes! I understand perfectly. Everyone should charge up. Except for Pongormo, who should crisp this. How much health do you have? 600, huh? That's a lot. Well, we found the first boss in this area. Awaken Lance. What the fuck? Oh, that hurt. Dealt with the highway fleam, at least. Foam armor! Man, now we only have one target to contend with. It's amazing what you can do when you think about stuff. <laughs> Just a, a sad gyoza. It, it, it's, it's a dot over time. A dot over time. A damage over time over time. Smite this bitch! I'm just getting free turns. He's not attacking. He attacked so little that he died. Twenty bones, six antenna, five meat, multi coffins. Hmm. I think I got flipped around. I defeated this, the first idiot. I found a cloud germ for my trouble. Huh? Ah. 
I made something rise out of the sea. This entire 3D dungeon crawler thing appears to be completely optional to the main story. Because I have finished the game. Like, this is, this is me fucking around after the fact. Now I need to figure out how to get the hell out. Ah, oh, convenient. Well, that was something. Can I look at your monitors yet? Yeah, I don't know. I, I appear to have unlocked some sort of optional secret. I need my airship. Where did I park that thing? Nope, I appear to have taken a dip. Why could it respawn me at Wayne's house? My air dash. There we go. Summon my airship at the ribs. Fuck. You ever just like try and summon an airship and then you fell off and died? Wait, what did- what- where- where did it rise out of the ocean? Is that it? Is that what I made rise out of the ocean? Over here? No, that looks like the shield factory. You know, that's the shield factory. What- what rose out of the fucking ocean? see it. Is it this structure? Oh! It's flying. Wait, then what's the structure on the right side of the map? Have I ever been there? Hey, pal! Is this gonna be okay? Oh, I went into my air. That's probably gonna remove it from the map. God damn it. Come back here. Hi, Hino. What's your fucking deal, pal? Buddy. Buddy. I'm honestly shocked. The uh, the first Helix didn't really have a whole lot in the way of optional content. This is like a whole thing. Go into a 3D dungeon area that you may or may not remember to access because you need a key item from an area you might not remember to go back to. Uh, to access a, a floating ship that has coins on it. Coins that you can spend on items that you barely need at this point. Yeah, you, you, just, you just jump. How to climb ladder. Jump. The surviving sages hid themselves. One in Viewfax, Zedifus, the other under the fortress of Fogloss, and a third in those halls which recently held this ship. Under the fortress. Yeah. 
tokens from the three sages I needed to power on the TV. I am tokenless. I need more sage tokens. I guess if I can find the three sages, I can get their tokens and access whatever secret power is hidden inside the telly, right? How am I missing this? Rekas, thank you for the host. What the fuck? I cannot gauge my distance. Why would you do this to me? Yes, a multi-soul sponge. It was mostly worth it. anyway, really. How did I find this game? It's pretty good. I liked it. I'm once again the tokenless fool. The sages devised ever more efficient garb. Halves will costs. you wish you had an organ for it. Don't we just... The telescopic sleeve is still better, actually. Halving will costs is super strong. is already wearing an organ for it, actually. I mean, Pongorm was wearing a ductile habit, but it reduces damage by 25%. Oh well. Floating shopkeeper person. What else is in this place? Anything fun? We awakened this ship, somehow. New Fax's edifice, another under the fortress at Foglas, and a third in those halls which recently held this ship. So the third sage is down below? 
Back in the, the dungeon crawler area thing. That's curious, considering it didn't seem like I could have done much more there. Right, well, bollocks to this. Whee! Game fetch quest, Pogchamp. I'm not sure if it's a fetch quest. I think it might be a boss, like optional bosses. There, I mean, there was already one optional boss, the Motor Hunter that I killed. I'm taking a trip to the afterlife, but not before I visit the shop first. I need to acquire burritos. It's important to collect as many burritos as possible. enough burritos. Take a visit to the afterlife. I'm pretty sure I saw all that I could have seen in the afterlife. But then, did I ever, like, reach the bottom of the caves? Yeah, there was this TV, which, watching it, gave me, uh... What did this give me again? Oh, this one got me, uh, yeah, Teladenudinate, tele, tele which I never used, I think. In, in hindsight, I probably should have, but Fate Sandbox always struck me as being slightly better and not that much more expensive. Prevents you from having an ailment, you see. Oh wow, I had a lot of meat to tender. My maximum HP just increased by like 50% off the back of that. Alright, let's go to Viewfax's edifice. Apparently there's a sage hidden there. Maybe I'll find it, I don't know. Got nothing else to look for at the moment. Maybe it's underneath the edifice? Maybe I should take the boat. some there was just some some guy oh 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 I think I might know where the first sage is Maybe he's inside the computer. Excitingly, you can even change the difficulty of this game. Easy. Wayne is not not back when hit. Normal. Wayne is not back when hit. I'm changing this to easy because the platforming in this game is bluntly kind of dreadful. Hi, Flad.
Is it a 2D platformer now? Yes. biggest problem with the platforming is as follows. Uh, when you're on moving platforms, you can't move. It just sort of doesn't let you. You don't just have a double jump, you have, like, actually indefinite jumps. They just have a cooldown, is all. this place out to its full conclusion the first time I was here, because the platforming was sort of not good. <laughs> burritos. This is an uneven number of burritos. Mm. Fucking game sucks. jump off this one. Oh, the charge shot will hit me. Actually, allow me to fucking move. I'm about to die. Uh. So long with no checkpoint. That's why I sort of didn't stick the platforming out for the longest time, because uh, it's not very good and it takes ages. 
I just kind of got the key item I needed and left. But this is like a whole thing. But it's it's not good. <laughs> the platforming in this game is actually kind of just bad. I, oh, a missile plate. Well, that's nice. That's what I missed the first time. Just that. Abandoned the ship. Oh. I fell through it. Though. Can't roll through that. There was a distinctly wane shaped receptacle. seeing anything more I can really do here. Maybe this isn't like a whole thing. Maybe this doesn't expand out further beyond this point. Because I'm not seeing it. Seems like it just ends. I've died yet again! I can't believe Wayne is fucking dead. Whereas this 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 is what just ended the mini game the first time. I don't think I've other than finding an extra muscle applique, there really doesn't seem like there was anything else to the 2D platformer segment. Somehow I figured this would have been like the 3D the 3D dungeon thing where I went in it, but I, I never like fully explored it. Whereas I didn't see anywhere else to really go during that one. If there's more to that, then I don't see it. not answer the question though of where the fucking sages are. That mystery remains un unmystiqued. Really, this guy's really still trying to pick a fight with me. Dude. 
foam armor is now only 12. Half cost will points. Ridiculous. Thirty-eight damage for the price of one. Yeah, these guys are really trying to pick a fight. They're trying to pick a fight with me. I've become powerful. My abilities are supreme all of a sudden. Get out of here. You're barely even worth the meat. Clowns didn't even get my clean status. Couldn't even take my clean off me. They know nothing of clean. What is this device? Oh, I think that's an open pot. I think this just warps you to the bottom. Or is this just like the room where the boss was once? I don't think there'll be anything here now, though. You're moving, are you a sage? I was thinking maybe it was like a thing where the bosses that I had defeated are now replaced with the sages, but it doesn't seem to be much like that. This might be the type of thing I only really figure out when someone else figures it out and posts it online. I sure as shit don't think I have the time to do this tonight. All we know is that apparently the sage is somewhere in Viewfax's edifice. There was a jail, and I did talk to someone, but... Uh, they left, and nothing really came of it. Streamer's Curse. I just set my party on fire with that one. Suppose I did. doesn't do anything, mind you. I can push the chair. Yeah, like, there's the boat and the jail, and no one's really in the jail. Oh, I fell through the jail? Oh! fell down into a hitherto unknown deeper layer of jail. Oh. That was anticlimactic. I felt like I was onto something there. I can run up this? Are you sure? And see, now I have to go back and check all jail cells. I'm running alongside things.
Like, whoa, man. No, it seems like it might have been just the one jail cell. But there was another path in that jail cell I don't think I took. I'm obliged to try it again. Imagine just walking off this in order to find a secret passage. Like, how early could I have come here? There's a fucking TV up there. Time sigil. Damages and inflicts lagging on target for three turns, causing it to act last and sleep when the effect expires normally. Bosses can't be sleep. Well, if bosses can't... Boo! Still, it damages and inflicts lagging, which is somewhat useful. If only I'd known about that sooner. Well, that, that wasn't the sage, but I did uncover a whole new power. They hid a whole power in a secret passageway under here... <laughs> Okay. Whole ass ability just in there. It really does. So obscure in fact that I, I do not know what I have missed. I'm not even close to... I feel like someone else who plays this game will have a somewhat different experience for me in terms of what they get because like I'm pretty sure I found some stuff that other people probably might not the first time but then clearly I missed time sigil so what the fuck do I know about anything it's honestly impressive it manages to remain balanced in spite of being able to miss entire abilities in a game that revolves around using abilities Closer to discovering where the fuck this bitch is, though. <laughs> yeah, this just takes me here to the bottom. Oh, this is more like the middle, but still. How much meat do I have on me? Two. That is an uninspiring amount of meat. Yeah, like, fuck knows where these sages are, man. Yeah, I, f I figured the sages appearing would have been, like, a sort of uh, a thing that happens in previous... Because you can't access that... That area where you, like, make the ship rise up out of the ground without having beaten all these bosses to start with. So putting them in the places where the old bosses were seems like a fairly logical sort of like not quite post game challenge. But uh, they're not uh, they're not there. <laughs> I don't know where the fuck they could possibly be, frankly. I've, I've searched around view facts as evident as high and low at this point, I think, and I have uncovered precisely jack and shit. You already missed the herbs. Well, you know what? Fear not. For we can play more Sims Game Boy games another time when I actually get a hold of more Sims Game Boy games. Could be under this place? I was under this place. There wasn't a whole lot of anything going on there. Like, this is under.
I have no obvious recollection of anywhere I, like, didn't find the first time. So I'm honestly not quite sure where any of these bitches could be. That's the front door. This gnarly structure doesn't... Like, maybe I can air dash off this? Like, it seems to be pointing me vaguely in that sort of direction. Okay, there's a hole here. Maybe I'm onto something. Okay. No idea what's happening now. Never been here before. Birds coming from the game or my house? Like, not that the birds are in the house, but I hear birds. Ah! Oh. Well, this seems like an arrow with some provenance. Right, these are all holes. Some of these holes don't do anything. They just take you nowhere. Maybe this spiky hole goes somewhere fun. That's me after yet another failed attempt to find what the fuck to do. Clearly this seems like something on the right track. But like... How do you know? This entire landscape is just full of holes. I reckon the map loops because the party members keep like coming back into the scene. This hole. Oh, it's like a puzzle, but I don't know what the puzzle is. There's just some holes, man. Force method. Multi juice. Who are you, pal? Buddy, talk to me. We found a sage. Well, the sages seem very kind.
I pieced it together, although I'm not really sure what I did to solve that one. I mostly just did stuff until it worked. Well then, isn't that something? I found one sage token, of which there are apparently three. May as well get my extra meat. Tender one's meat, it might be two hit points, but you never know, two hit points, now I'm clean. An unforeseen level of cleanliness washes over me. Where was the other one? It was in Foglist, right? Specifically the labyrinth underneath Foglist, which... Oh, I don't want to go back to the fucking labyrinth underneath Foglist. That shit was ass. Oh. Okay, then. Lambast. Soul Crisper. Dead as fuck. Just so dead. Cool, that did like a lot of damage actually. Alright, these fights are easy now. My meat has become more powerful. Well, see, for the time being, I think I'm going to call that a stream. Uh, I definitely don't have the time tonight to, to, like, solve the puzzle of the sages, and frankly, I think that might be something I'll do myself on my own time if I, if I care to. I finished Hylix 2 tonight. I'm calling this an early night because I finished the game, and also I'm slightly tired, but then I'm always slightly tired. Aren't I fucking always? It's just, the th it's just the thing I do. Perpetually tired streamer. Helix 2, it's a good game. It's quite a good game. I enjoyed that. What a fucking weirdly ambitious game this was. What a strange... Like, this, this game tries really hard. <laughs> I'm quite impressed with that. That was fun. I had a lot of fun with that. My playthrough can go on the YouTube and what have you. That'll be a stream for now. Cheers for watching.